Okay, so some of you might be wondering where I've been for the last few days. Uh, two video game things. One, I just blasted through The Last of Us 2. Going to be kind of doing a little bit of my own little thoughts about that um, soon. But also, the other thing was, and I had to come to a direct halt on getting towards it while playing Last of Us 2. I'm just about to get 200,000 achievement score. I know it's not a high number for me. Um, I'm a bit of an achievement whore, but basically what happened when I got 100,000, I was at like 999,995 or something. I went to work with the intention of getting over it Like when I got back. I was restless all day at work. I come home, my dad broke over 100,000 with a World of Tanks achievement, which I've been bitter about it for a long fucking time. So now I'm finally doing it, but I'm doing two things at once. Um, I worked all the way up to the end of Mass Effect 2, the suicide mission on insanity. I've never gotten this achievement because I've always been afraid of doing it. I think I got about halfway through back in 2012 and I just couldn't do it. I was like, this is ridiculous. It's going to just get harder from here. Admittedly, I also wasn't helping myself. I started with a brand new character on insanity. That was immensely, immensely ball grinding. Um, I'm also an infiltrator. I'm not a soldier. I don't know. Again, I don't know why I went with this preset, but instead of starting another one again with a new game plus, I was like, fudge this. I'm just going to go through it. I'm going to finish what I started eight years ago. Finally doing it, and I'm about to see the bloop. So, here we go. Here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. We're just waiting for you. Wait. Was that Samara? And would you believe that I actually, after like the initial, I didn't do anything else for the rest of the day. And it wasn't because I was like, yeah, I've accomplished something that means nothing, but it took so long to do. It was, wow, I accomplished something that means nothing. And I think this is what I've been like wanting to get myself out of for a really long time. I'm, I've, I've admitted that I had an achievement horror problem for a long time and sometimes I was playing games just for that. Now admittedly, sometimes I would get extra playthrough out of a game, like for a completionist sort of way. Not to a certain extent, like 100% most games, but I still would like to try and get as many as I did. This is admittedly now that I'm like basically at zero again, I don't care. I am playing Doom Eternal right now to play it just for the sake of playing it, but the big the big thing is this is what kept me from playing PlayStation or getting a PlayStation 4 the longest time. I know that sounds stupid. I liked the idea of having one console, one line of progression of rewards or whatever. Also, from a monetary standpoint, I just didn't want to have two consoles because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on games and whatnot, go through all the wires and everything. Admittedly, right now, I am somewhat tempted. Am I looking at the PS5? No. I'm looking more so at the PS4. There's a few games on there that I've never gotten to play that I kind of wish I had. I really want to play Ghost of Tsushima. I've seen a bunch of people playing it. It's the first time since Last of Us that I've really wanted, I mean the first one, I've that I've really wanted to play a PlayStation game. There's a few PS games that have come and gone in the past, uh, like Horizon Zero Dawn, but because they were on PlayStation, it just had that really stupid, really stubborn mentality. and. It's not going to be anymore. Admittedly, it's over now. I actually think I'm going to branch out. I can't play a Switch, though. I'm sorry. For those of you who love Switches, I just can't play it. I can't stand 
the controllers, even if you get mods for it. I, I just don't like it. I think I just have this preconceived notion that the GameCube is one of the best controllers of all time. Hell, I still play the GameCube in the house from time to time because I love the controller scheme. Also, I love the GameCube games in general. I never get tired of playing NHL hits. I just hate where they've put the X. Like Again, this is like very, very first world problem issue, but I just, I just don't like the Switch. Not to say that I don't think it's probably one of the most ingenious uh, products that Nintendo or any gaming company has ever released. The versatility, the accessibility of this thing is absolutely out of this world. I love it how you just swipe the things in and you can have four, eight, however many players on your Switch. I love that aspect of the Switch. I just don't like any of the games. Just not a Nintendo dude. Sorry. This is, this is not me. Mind you, I've barely been playing any games. After I did Mass Effect 2 on Insanity, I did try to start up Mass Effect 3 on Insanity, and I've, I've slowly gotten through it. It's, it's getting there. I'm not having the greatest of times, admittedly, because the Xbox One X that I'm playing on, I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting so many goddamn glitches with Mass Effect 3. I'm getting Shepard looking up into the sky. I've got characters turned around improperly. And the funny thing is this never happened to me when I was playing it on the 360. There's something going on with the emulator. But also there is the Mass Effect remaster that is supposedly coming out in September. Supposedly. Whether this is going to be as bad as the Mafia 2 remaster, or as good as the Modern Warfare 2 remaster, we'll see. I'm kind of curious because I've heard that they have redone the combat for Mass Effect 1. And Mass Effect 1, in my opinion, is my favorite story. It's the best one. It has the best world building. It has the best soundtrack. I liked this game because it tried to take a risk in terms of how its gameplay reflected that of its world building, its science. Because when Drew Carpishian wrote the novel, or basically wrote the entire concept, he thought, well, it's the future. They wouldn't have ammo for guns. They would just be overheating, kind of like the plasma guns for Halo, but those have a percentage admittedly, so they need to recharge. You have to still input a gameplay element, which was the overheating for Mass Effect 1. I like the Mass Effect 1 idea the most. It's not the best executed, and it's definitely aged the worst out of all three games. If they have the combat or at least some sort of versatility of Andromeda or Mass Effect 2 at the very least, I haven't played Andromeda. I've watched people play Andromeda. I just don't want to touch it because I just don't want to tarnish my love for the Mass Effect series. I love the first three games immensely. There's the one series that I have played over multiple, multiple, multiple times. The only other series I can say that I've played through multiple times is Halo, XCOM. I just... Eh, I, I can't touch Andromeda. I, it just looks like garbage. I know that they supposedly fix things, but it, it just looks like shit. And the absolute turmoil that the company, that the development team went through, sure, they kind of got a little bit rushed by EA, but they also had forever to come up with a game and they spent like 90% of it in pre-production. That's just bad management. The same goddamn thing happened to Anthem, which I called happening. I even said, like, it's not gonna be A this time. It's gonna be bad management. So yeah, that's kind of just a little bit of me talking about maybe going over to Sony. I know I'm probably gonna be going over there with their cameras soon. Freaking Canon R5. You were supposed to be the chosen one, and now you overheat if you take a few photos too many times. Anyways, that's all for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs>
To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.